Hi everyone, I am back with my October design team project for the Graphics Fairy. Um, so it's autumn here in southern Ontario and I really wanted to make something that reflected my love of this season. But I didn't really want to use uh, traditional fall colors, so oranges and yellows and reds and that kind of thing. So I've gone with um, some very muted kind of turquoise and cream and burgundies uh, in this project. Um, and actually, before I get into the flip through for this, I wanted to just talk a little bit about um, what I'm using. So the images that I've used, the majority of them are from uh, the premium membership site um, bundles. So the Graphics Fairy um, membership site has various bundles of um, images that you can print um, and within those bundles then there's also brush sets so you can create your own collages um, and they've also created tags and journaling spots um, sometimes journal pages that kind of thing for you to use but one of the great things about it is that there are tutorials um, lots of tutorials and how to use Photoshop um, so that you can create your own pages so it's a really great site um, to go in and uh, have a look at. Um, so let me uh, take you through my project for this month. So I have used for the cover, um, I have printed on 65 pound cardstock, um, one of the end papers. So there's a bundle called Delicate End Papers. And there are I don't know, maybe 10 different um, end papers included. Um, and some of them are uh, plain, like this, kind of from, from here to here. Um, and then there are others where they've, they are called the stacked end papers. So they've added these uh, different um, textures to the top and bottom. So I've chosen one of the uh, stacked end papers for my cover. And then I've just layered uh, an image here uh, with some cheesecloth. And at the bottom here, I've added just some uh, scraps of some vintage paper that I have. I've added some of my um, alcohol inked uh, cellophane tape. Uh, and, and then I've done a rusted um, book plate here. And the rusting actually came out really well on this uh, this time around. Uh, and if you head over to the Graphics Fairy blog, um, I talk a little bit more about that so you can find out how I did that there. And I will have that linked below. So then I've just closed it with some coffee dyed seam binding. So very simple. And then heading inside, I have taken some inspiration from Sheena from Luna Rosu. Um, I wanted to try something a little bit different, so just a different style of tuck spot. Uh, and that's what I've done here. This is a printable image from the Graphics Fairy uh, from the uh, Vintage Postcards bundle. Uh, and then I have um, just glued it on two sides here uh, and just uh, created just a, a different type of, of tuck spot. Um, in there, I have this vintage postcard. Happy birthday postcard. And then I have printed this from the wallpaper bundle. Uh, and then I have uh, made a tag. I've just uh, added some coffee dyed ledger paper to the back uh, and created that tag at the front. This is some vintage ledger paper, more of that cellophane tape. Uh, and then I've just added some lace and some coffee dyed uh, cheesecloth and a button. So I had actually been looking at this for the cover of this journal. Um, it was it was a real toss up between uh, the one that I actually chose uh, and this one. So lots of great options uh, on the site for sure. Some gathered uh, trim here and a little bit of stamping. This is a printable um, that is from the Pattern Papers uh, bundle. Uh, and I had printed that actually on some uh, some vellum just to give it a bit of a different look and then I've just added a little bit of gold trim there So you can see this is from the end papers bundle and this is one of the tags um, That is uh, a part of the bundle as well um, So you get that 
Uh, this is, uh, I've forgotten now which bundle that's in, but I will link that below. Um, so that's from the Graphics Fairy as well. Uh, and then just a vintage uh, recipe here. And then this is from the French Ephemera. I think it's French Script Ephemera. Uh, so I've added that as well. And then I've mixed, so you can see how everything just kind of really mixes well together, all the printables. And then I've just mixed it with some real ephemera here that I have as well. I've added one of my uh, envelope pockets here, just some sheer coffee dyed fabric with some, some lace and some seam binding at the top. And then I've just added a few sheets of paper here, um, attached it with some vintage ledger, more cellophane tape, and a couple of buttons. This is a vintage envelope and I have just um, folded the bottom of it to make a pocket. More of that uh, cellophane tape and that actually was a bit ripped there so, so it came in handy. Um, but it really does look old. I really love this. I have um, just colored with some alcohol ink, um, some cellophane tape, just using the um, uh, Tim Holtz caramel color and it comes out this beautiful vintage color. Uh, in that pocket, then I have one of my vintage um, French tags, just an image here with a little bit of trim. And this is a Graphics Fairy um, printable paper. And so is this, actually, this paper. Let me just show you. So it's very lightly lined, but really nicely kind of distressed on the edges and then I just added a couple of vintage uh, pieces of ephemera a guest check there and then this is um, a diary page and again that was ripped so I've just added some of that cellophane tape and on this side I have clipped a vintage um, diary page and just some vintage uh, ledger paper there um, more vintage uh, ephemera there with some ruffles. And this page, this is great. This is um, a, a vintage paper and there's just writing, um, pencil writing, you'll see uh, on the other side as well. So it's a great addition, I think. This pocket I've made from some player piano paper. And I have um, used some of the end paper, the delicate end paper that I used on the cover. I've, I've added a pocket. And then this is a die cut from the Graphics Fairy as well. And then just some real ephemera here and a vintage, a vintage letter. And this is a vintage child's um, spelling book page. Um, more of that tape that I've added. On this page, I've added um, a playing card and then some vintage music paper that I've sewn onto some coffee dyed paper, a bit of stamping, uh, and just a little bow here. Uh, this is the same paper from uh, that I used uh, the tag at the very beginning, but I, this I printed on vellum again. Uh, just to give it a little bit of a different look and a journaling card and this is another printable from the graphics fairy and this is some vintage German um, ledger or book page that I've added in made a little pocket here uh, graphics fairy images so there are all kinds of bundles that you can choose from, um, and there's a new one added every week, so the possibilities are endless for sure. A um, little bit of trim there. Uh, I've made a tag, uh, just some embossed uh, craft paper here with one of the Graphics Fairy um, die cuts. A little bit of lace. And here, this is the other side of that vintage paper, and you can see this great list that they've got. Um, I guess they're things that someone's purchased from their store. This is from an old ledger book. And a vintage photograph here. And this is a vintage postcard. So, um, lots of room for journaling. Um, this is the other half of this printable, um, kind of really distressed page here. I love this. 
I've added a little bit of tape there and a stamp and then just added um, a couple of things there just to trim it out and that's a flip out and the other part of the envelope again I've got things in here from um, the bundle so that's from the same end papers bundle and that's some real ephemera and then that's a printable image from I think it's the French ephemera bundle and then I've just added a little bit of tape again some washi tape and some buttons there and the other part of that vintage French ephemera sheet a bit of trim and this is another image from the graphics fairy and that's a fold out page and then the other half of the vintage ledger paper there so that is my project uh, for this month um, I will link below the uh, bundles that I've used and I will also link the um, uh, the Graphics Fairy blog where you can go and, and read up a little bit on, on how I rested this book plate and I talk a little bit more about how I created the cover. So thanks everyone. Um, this uh, journal will be available in my Etsy shop and I will link that below as well. Um, thanks for joining me and I look forward to coming back in a month's time to uh, show you my next project. Thanks everyone.